Well, hey there, YouTube. I've got something special out here in the garage today. Got a little fan for a six six or a five hundred, or I guess a six six seven. Same thing. Got a five hundred there. Came out of a one nine one Super K Mobile, the base station killers vehicle. But that's not it. Look what he did to this radio that he got from me. Look at that thing. Looks like it's been through a damn war. I'm going to clean these up. Probably going to refinish these. It's not even that bad. But I'll, I'll clean it up and make it look like brand new. Man, 191, you are rough with your equipment. This thing was like pristine. Well, shit, I'll tell you what. 191 is one guy that actually uses his equipment. He uses it. And it talks. You guys figure it out? This is the magical 191 Super K Mobile base station killer radio right here. This is a Galaxy DX959B that was getting out like crazy and that had just incredible receive. I mean, he could hear people in his mobile on this radio that nobody else could hear on base stations with beams and everything else. He could be talking to someone 75 miles away. <laughs> Yeah, he could hear him just fine, and no one else could hear him. <laughs> this is that radio, and it's sitting here in the garage now, over here at my place. Uh, he told me to go ahead and go ahead and put this up for him. Just hold on to it. He's retired it. He's now got the uh, my Comp Tune uh, Hopper built uh, Cobra Twenty Nine. It's now it's now 191s. Uh, that is his radio, that 29, and the audio that's coming out of that thing is amazing. Doesn't have the receive this radio has. This is a freak. But it's over here. If you guys go back and watch the videos, you'll know you'll know how special this radio is as far as being loud as shit and receiving. It's a freak. Um, I have a feeling. If somebody were to offer enough money for this, he would probably let it go. But I'm gonna totally detail this thing up and clean it, and I'll put I'll put a new uh, a new textured finish on that uh, those cases. I'll make this thing look like brand new. Yep, this is the. 191 radio that was getting out and hearing everything like no one else could right here. So I just wanted to show that. This radio originally came from the Hellraiser. The Drunken Hellraiser. If you search my uh, YouTube channel, you'll come across a playlist that's called... Uh, I believe it's Hellraiser, the drunken CB operator, or something like that. He's out of Las Vegas. So, here's a story behind this. I, I probably told it before. So, Hellraiser lives with his mom, and he's a hard, hardcore drunk. I, uh, I actually never knew how dangerous alcohol was until I met this dude. I mean... After seeing this guy, the Hellraiser, and just how it's, you know, done, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. I think if you abuse alcohol the way this guy did, it's probably the most dangerous thing out there for you. It's really opened my eyes up. But anyway, so he got this radio off Amazon brand new, and he was talking on it. He had it hooked up to his Texas Star 667, I think. And he had a window air conditioner, right? You know, about this high up. And in one of his drunken tirades, 
somehow the window air conditioning unit fell inward onto this radio. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. You know, the, the top of the case was all dented in. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, me and this Hellraiser did some wheeling and dealing. And part of it was I gave him a brand new one of these in the box. And he was going to throw this one away. So I ended up with this. I opened it up and fixed a couple things that I saw that were wrong in there. And then I gave it, I, hand, I, I handed it over to a technician to, I got it working, it sounded fine, but I handed it over to a technician just to, just to do an alignment on it and make sure everything was good on it. And he had this radio for a few months. And uh, he kept playing with it and basically told me there's something going on in this radio that he's never seen before and he's never seen receive out of any radio like he's seen out of this, you know, when he hooked it up. Um, it, I mean, it just leaps and beyonds, you know, leaps above like a striker 955 or anything. He said it was just no, never saw a radio with receive like this. And as far as the how it looked on the scope, there was just something odd about it. Anyways, he aligned it and, you know, tuned it and everything uh, the best he could. And, you know, I got it back from him. And I never even hooked it up. I put it in the closet. You know, I knew it was good to go. I met John 191. He was looking for a radio. I had this one. Uh, you know, it lo looked brand new then. He put it in his mobile and it was the goddamn loudest radio we've ever heard out here. This paired up with this Texas Star 500. Uh, he was, he, he's walking on base stations, no lie, in a mobile. Walking on base stations in a mobile using a K40, uh, one of those K40 aluminum, you know, uh, open air coil deals, like 60 bucks at the truck stop, mounted on top of his headache rack, not even on the roof. This was stepping on everything from where I live to Dayton to Carson City, doesn't matter. This dude's keying on everyone with this with this little setup right here. And we determine it's all this radio. Nothing to do with the amp. The amp was doing what it's supposed to do. But it's in this radio. The tech that aligned it and checked it out, he doesn't know exactly what's happened to this radio. But there is something in here. It is a freak receive and a freak transmit. This thing's off the hook. So if you go back and watch my 191 videos, you'll you'll hear it. I'm uh I'm out here in Fernley and that guy can go up there to Carson City and just like blast out here. It's unbelievable with this radio. So anyways, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to throw it on my cabinet. If anyone needs this more than 191 needs it, a very very good cash offer can buy this radio otherwise it's staying in the cabinet and i'm just going to store it for him so yep that's what i got got for you tonight